Hi friends. Now in this video, we're going to be talking about five traits that a marketing person needs to have. Remember, there's a difference between a marketing person and a salesperson. Here we're going to be asking questions or here we're going to be talking about questions or traits which a marketing person needs to have. Now, if I were looking for candidates, these are the five things that I would look for in a marketing person. I would look for a relationship builder, someone who can build relationship with my customer or relationship within the team. I would look for a storyteller, someone who can talk about stories, who can, who can say stories well about the product or the service. Of course, I need someone who's very adaptable. The fourth trait, I'm looking for someone who's innovative. And fifth, someone who can add value to my culture. I'll repeat, a relationship builder, a storyteller, someone who's adaptable, someone who's innovative, and someone who can add culture to my organization. Now, when it comes to hiring marketing people, uh, there are no definitive answers which are right. I'm going to give you certain questions and you will need to trust your intuitive best and listen for a few things or listen to the way the person is saying a few things to judge whether the candidate is right or wrong. The first question is around relationship building. Tell me about a time when you had to work with a difficult colleague what did you do to build the relationship? I repeat the question. Tell me about a time when you had to work with a difficult colleague. What did you do to build the relationship? Now, what is it that you're looking for or you're listening for? You're looking for the marketer, the person they're looking to hire to be a team player. Look for non-verbal cues that a candidate to show that the candidate can effectively collaborate with teammates. Uh, this is a very interesting question. When I meet a lot of people, uh, they see a lot of things. They say that, okay, no, I worked with the team and, you know, and, and things like that. And they, they try to convince you that you're more of a team player. But when it comes to marketing people, look for non-verbal cues. Uh, and I can give you some examples. You know, when, when someone is, you know, looking in other direction while answering the question. So they're probably looking like this or this, like, like this, this kind of expression. Yeah, but okay, yeah, you know, these kind of things are, you know, talking very clearly to you that they were not comfortable with working in a team. They're coming with a lot of smirks like this. They're coming up with a lot of sarcastic comments. Uh, they are, they seem to be uncomfortable talking about the question or the, about the situation where they had to be working with a difficult colleague. When you're able to judge that uh, versus what they're just answering, because they're great people, they can easily fool you, right? Because they're, they're natural marketing people. Uh, so you need to look at these non-verbal cues uh, when it comes to hiring such people, right? So someone who's a relationship builder uh, will give you very definitive answers, but you, know, you need to keep looking at their facial expression to see if there is something that you're missing out on. The second aspect is a storyteller. Uh, I'm sure you're listening to this day in and day out. Everybody needs to become a storyteller now. Uh, it's a very common saying, facts tell, stories sell. I repeat, facts tell, stories sell. So if a marketer is someone who cannot come across and say things in terms of a story format and engage you, uh, I'm not sure if that person is the right fit for a marketing role. Now, again, brief question you're going to be asking him or her. Give me a presentation on a topic you care a lot about. Simple question. Give me a presentation on a topic you care a lot about. Now, what is it that you're looking for? Search for clues in an answer that makes it clear this candidate is a natural conversationalist, which means you need to look for 
clues that he or she is able to communicate or get into a conversation easily with you. Someone who is not easy to talk to, okay, cannot be a natural marketer. Someone who is easy to talk to is a natural marketer and is good to have in your organization. Someone who can craft stories in a compelling framework that both educates and excites you. So, you know, when the person is saying, is giving this presentation, he, sh he or she is saying it in a format that they're giving out information about the subject that they're bothered about or they care about. But at the same time, they're bringing in excitement in you to keep listening to them, to keep being engaged with them is a natural trait that a marketer must have. Their answer should reveal some expertise which will prove that they can passionately advocate new projects, right? Now, a marketer is someone naturally who is researching about new projects because it's not always going to be a situation where, uh, you know, they're always going to be having things that they know all about. But in this case, it's a situation or it's a, it's a topic that they already know about. So what you want to listen to is not only the fact that they have knowledge, but they're also able to share it passionately. Think about it this way. If we've asked a question that what do you really care about? And if they're not passionately talking about it, then I'm thinking that the, the person is not the right fit for your organization. The third question is adaptability. And adaptability is a very natural trait. As I mentioned earlier, it's required in all organizations. But when it comes to marketer, this is what I would ask. Tell me about a time when you were asked to do something you have never done before. I repeat, tell me about a time you were asked to do something that you've never done before. How did you approach the situation? What did you learn? How did you approach the situation? What did you learn? What to listen, out, listen for? A curious marketer is often a successful one. Try and figure out whether he or she is someone who is naturally curious. Because a curious marketer is the one who is a successful one. Listen for phrases like keep learning in the candidate's answer. So if a candidate is using the words, I needed to keep learning, I needed to educate myself, I needed to research, I needed to, you know, uh, to learn new way of things, I kept on asking more questions, is a clear way that the, the candidate is telling you that he or she is open to new information coming to him or her. And that's a good person to have in your team. Uh, this shows that, that there's a willingness to explore new trends processes and technology. Um, in, the, in the marketing world, trends are constantly changing. Processes are constantly changing. Technology to do things uh, differently are there. Right? So someone who is, uh, is naturally curious, is naturally open to these things will do well in a marketing role in your organization. A candidate who is flexible and has a desire to continuously grow their skill set will be an asset to your organization. So someone who is, like I said, uh, who's flexible to changing uh, according to the norms, who's constantly looking to grow, will be a definite asset to your organization in this particular way. The fourth question is about someone being innovative or innovation. What is the most exciting project or program you worked on? What was your role? And what impact did it have on you? Or in fact, what impact did you have on the project? Let's keep it this way. I repeat, what is the most exciting project or program you worked on? And what, you, what was your role? And what impact did you have on that project or the program? Now, what is it that you're listening for? This candidate should highlight how they played an integral role in the project as well as its success and failures. Remember guys, if a particular person is not able to share information about how crucial or how integral his role was in terms of the success or the failure of the project, uh, it's, it's a red flag for you. So keep attention and keep trying to listen for this. 
they should also highlight key insights that are sharp and grounded in methodology it's important to articulate the pain point and consumer need so of course a person who's a marketing person should be able should be insightful should be looking at insights so they need to be giving you insights in terms of and very precise insights in terms of why the particular thing succeeded why the particular thing failed uh, you know what was the pain point pain point of the customer and you know what did the customer actually need remember a marketing person needs to be very very accurate if someone is you know is uh, very accurate and forget about accurate very articulate right uh, they should be able to communicate what they want to say very very clearly uh, and if they're not able to do so they're going to create more confusion in the organization so uh, make sure you are hiring a person who's very articulate and who's able to make you understand what he's trying to make you understand the fifth question the last one in terms of a cultural ad you know someone who's going to be adding value to your culture what's the most interesting thing about you that's not on your resume what's the most interesting thing about you that's not on your resume what is it that you want to listen for a candidate's response should be confident and unique a marketing person needs to be confident and the response needs to be unique specifically when it comes to marketing person find someone who will add culture and flair to your team not someone who fits the same mold as the other team members uh in a marketing role you need someone who's coming up with new ideas you need someone who's adding value and flair to the organization and to the team so if someone is just going to fit into the same structure is is seem like someone else right in the team i'm not sure if that person is a right fit you need to bring people who are different specifically in the marketing team look for what gives them joy outside the 9 to 5 be sure to identify underlying themes that can translate to the work setting passion tenacity dedication and creativity a good marketing person is someone who has a life beyond the 9 to 5 try and find out what that person does try and find out you know if that person is naturally uh, you know naturally moving towards a creative way of working uh, you know is is uh, is has a has a passion to do things Uh, has a dedication to work right uh, some of the best ideas in terms of a marketing role come when people are not in their office working you need someone who's going to go around you need someone who's keeping an eye about eye into what's happening in the outside world who's looking at what the outside world is doing and is able to ideate and innovate on top of that someone who's going to be sitting on your desk okay and just working in the limited you know framework is not going to be a right marketing person Uh, so these are the five things that i like to judge in a person who is a marketing person or the branding person uh, in your organization uh, i've given you five questions and five things to listen for i repeat we're looking for a person who's a relationship builder someone who's a storyteller someone who's adaptable someone who is innovative and someone who adds value to the culture thank you so much